and uh, for, for our women, mm -hmm. you know, uh, those that are well to do, I mean, can afford, okay. it has now become uh, uh, fancy here mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you know, if you can afford and you want to marry, uh -huh. you know, you, you, you add a motor key. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, if, if so this is how lovely and beautiful the skies are looking here in the savannah region of Ghana. I'm still on my tour. This is Ghana tour. One region, one tour, aka Ghana to the world. Hello, what's up guys? Once again, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much guys for being around for me um, as I continue to do the tour. It's interesting and I'm really having fun, you know. It's good to travel around your own country to experience and get to know things that you never knew about the country. This is the Savannah region, formerly known as the Northern region. And today I'm bringing you another great episode which I think you guys will love. And it's about the transportation system here in the Savannah region. We've been here for a number of time and I've realized transportation is not like what we think or what we have uh, in Accra, okay? So I'm going to take you guys through, I'll educate you guys, show you around and let you know how transportation system work here. And here, everybody you see ride motorbike. taxis around that you can see. I have someone who will educate us or take us through and let us know more about how their transportation system went here. But if this is your first time coming on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and also let the family grow because we want to hit more than 50,000 by the end of this year so that we can do more of the tour. Okay guys, so um, I'm here at a barbering shop of the guy. The guy who is going to talk to us is a barber. He's the one who gave me this nice cut. So this is his shop and that is motorbike. I told you guys, heavy, here everybody has a motorbike. So this is his shop. Oh, Borisa, his name is called Borisa. He's a musician. <laughs> Charlie, good morning. Good morning. How are you, how are you? You said good morning is what? Uh, Ashuma. Ashuma. And then uh, afternoon is for Andre. And then evening we what? Anula. Anula. Oh, good, good, good. I'm learning Goja, right? Yeah, it's Goja, yeah, good. Yeah, Tell me how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Good, good, good. Um, I just came back to pay a visit to you and say hello to you. Uh, I hope good. you are doing well. I'm fine, sir. Good, good. But anyway, um, okay, my people, this is uh, Borisa. Uh -huh. He's a musician. He's a professional barber, at the same time he's a professional teacher as well. And he lives here in uh, Damongo. And Charlie, how, how, what's up, what's going on? Uh, we are there, we are fine. Yeah, you, you know, just opened your shop. <laughs> but, okay, so today I want to educate my people. I realize here, transportation system in Damongo is different. Yeah. yeah. I realize, I realize it's not like Accra where you can just come out of your room stop a taxi and sit in we have ubers and here uber doesn't work guys please if you are coming here just know that the app of uber doesn't work here <laughs> taxis don't run like the way they are in Accra. Yeah. so tell us how, how is the system like uh it used to be taxi taxi yeah. okay the, your mama Campo. You okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. We call it yellow, you do. Yellow, yellow, yeah. Uh, others call it Pragya somewhere. Yeah, I yeah, heard yeah. of that. So mm. it came and then it took over the market of the taxi. Okay. Yes. So uh, uh, 
basically that is just our main currently. Mm -hmm. I mean that is our main uh, source of transportation. That's within the township. Oh, okay. It's just the daily you know, If you're looking for any other, uh -huh. uh, I mentioned Uber here. <laughs> no one would know what it is. <laughs> yes, as I told you, Uber doesn't work here. They don't even know what is Uber. Uh, some of them. And now the taxis, uh, they run like um, to maybe nearby villages. Okay. They don't run in the township again. Oh, okay. So they run to uh, nearby villages. And that's just what they do. For township taxis, they don't work again. Oh, okay. The yellow, yellow. Over, yeah. But what, what about uh, Okada? In Accra, we have Okada. I see a lot of people driving motorbikes here. <laughs> yeah, uh, in Accra, mm -hmm. as you have Okada yeah. here, I don't think if you start that kind of business, mm -hmm. you, someone will mind you. No yeah. one will mind you okay. here. Any bicycle, mm -hmm. motorbike at all you see in town is privately owned. Okay. Yeah. So any bike at all, motorbike at all, you see, is is, is someone's bike. Accra, hardly will you see women driving motorbike. Yes. But here, it's like it's normal. Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, as you can see, mm -hmm. there is no traffic here. Okay. Uh, the streets are free. Okay. Uh huh. You know, unlike Accra, mm -hmm. even a man, if you want to ride a motorbike on the street, mm -hmm. unless you are an expert. Okay, exactly. But for here, the streets are clear, they are free. Mm -hmm. So everyone can ride a motorbike. Mm -hmm. I think that is even one of the reasons why motorbikes are dominating here. Wow. And uh, for, for our women, mm -hmm. you know, uh, those that are well to do, I mean, can afford, okay. it has now become. Uh, Fancy here mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you know if you can afford and you want to marry, uh -huh. you know you 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 add a motor key. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, okay. <laughs> so, uh huh. That's his motorbike. You see how this motorbike is very luxurious. You know, nice one. Okay, so uh, let me see if I can stop one. Uh, oh no no someone is in. Okay, okay. okay someone is in go. I wanted one that no one is in. Hi, hello. Hey. One is coming, so uh like how much go. would they pay yes. for a year that thing? You understand? Uh, you know who do I a teacher. Yeah, I'm a teacher. Yes. But why are you doing um what do you call it? Yellow yellow. Mm. Oh, you are not being posted yet or something? No, I'm a professional teacher, but but I have nothing to do with it. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So you are we taking some. Yeah, every weekend, so I don't have anything to do at it. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll let you take me to town. Just and then let me experience how the, the riding look like. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, I'm just doing it. So guys, uh, we are going to join. Um, just okay. roam about and come, okay? Just okay. okay. <laughs> so when you are entering, you have to bow down you your head, do what? and then you sit in. Okay guys, so this it's oh uh, I didn't actually watch your name. Majid. Majid, thank yeah. you. So Majid was the driver who took us around and it, but how much do they do they say? Uh this one that's my personal one. Seven thousand seven hundred. Seven thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Wow, it's quite a lot. It's expensive. 
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, I'll come again on your way with another episode. My name is Nia A, aka Ganyu B, the guy who tells stories from Ghana. One reading, one talk, aka Ghana to the world. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Peace out. If I want to marry, I'm already married. Okay. So let's say if someone wants to marry from here, then it means the person has to add a motorbike to the list, to the wedding list or engagement list or something. Many others who are okay, they do that. Okay. Uh, it's not a requirement though. Oh, okay. It's not a requirement, but it's a know, plus. It, it's a plus. They just do to I mean mm -hmm. show that they are okay. Wow. Yeah. So some do that. Uh, that is why you see many mm -hmm. women riding motorbikes in town. Wow. But are, are the motorbikes very expensive? Uh, well, here I would say they are. Okay. Uh, yes. To me, they are expensive. Because you own one yourself, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then it means you are yeah, rich. I'm not rich. You know, as I said, they are expensive. Okay. I'm sure if I mention the amount, it will be someone's chicken change. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. I see. You know, the poverty level here in this part of our country yeah. is very high. Yeah. So if you can afford something like three thousand, you see, someone wow. will start to laugh if I mention three thousand. Wow. <laughs> but three thousand is quite. Uh, yeah. is quite uh, <laughs> Expensive. Oh well. Buy a motorbike three thousand. Some is being inside. Some is being inside. You know, it, it takes others like years. I mean, to plan, get their money, save seriously, wow. to buy that motorbike. Wow! Wow! I see. <laughs> so that is why. Mm, I see. Thinking. Nice. Okay. So yes. um, I think uh, that's all for now. Uh, but. I think if, if you are going far away, then that's where you use the big, big buses. Yes. And stuff. If you are traveling out of Damango, mm. then that's you go for the big. big I see a lot of buses. young, small boys, like three years, four years, eight, no, like five, six, seven, eight years driving motorbike and also riding bicycle. Mm -hmm. And it's just normal. If, if you are coming here, you don't know how to ride you better learn before you come so guys i'm going to take you around so that you have experience and see how um it looked like and uh, being in the mama Kam kambu or the kandu or whatever and then the yellow yellow frag yeah so guys stay tuned let's go have fun and see and one thing i like about this uh, the yellow yellow when you are sitting inside there's free hair that comes you know it's like you can see outside, you can watch things outside when you are sitting. It's not like taxi, you can't see what is going on. You can view around and also see how the place looks yes. like that. And it's, it's kind of free and it's not expensive. Yes. Why yes. is it not expensive? Uh, I, I, uh, I don't know, but you know, when the taxis were in and they came, you know, they need to show a difference okay, for people okay. to patronize them. So I think that was how they started. You know, those machines are they work like motorbikes. Mm -hmm. They are aging. They consume less. Oh, okay. So the taxi can't actually compete with yeah. those motorbikes. So they start to charge less in order to attract uh, customers. So that was how come they even defeated the taxi. And as you said, you know, sitting when you sit in it, like some kind of free. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It's Fun mm -hmm. yes. and it's it take like how many people three or four people yes. some take three some, some take four three, some take four yeah. yeah it's very cheap one CD one CD just wherever that you are going from town to station yeah. you just pay one CD wow still pushing cause we go make up still pushing cause we will get there.